Hello everybody, welcome back to another Discord Digest video. In today's video, I'm going to show all of you guys able to make your own Discord Digest mod mail bot. So the way mod mail work is basically similar to a ticket system. It's an easy way between a staff member and a member to communicate with each other in a private conversation, basically. So I'm going to teach you guys how you guys be able to do that. And in case you need a source code for today's video, link is in the description as well. As a matter of fact, if you just go ahead and copy and paste, this won't help you. I'm just saying, the code is not the kind of, that kind of code that is like you know copy and paste and that will literally work because there's some variables or stuff that you have to specify by yourself and you don't have to like you know copy and paste and you will you will you will hope the code will work or something so i really recommend you guys to watch the video until the end in case you guys have any problems with your bots or their bot doesn't work or the command that i teach you guys in today's video are not gonna work anything like that or you got just you just got an error or something just go ahead and comment down below i will help you guys over there and also join to our discord server if you want a faster support because we definitely help people out faster over there since you know it's more accessible for youtube it's less kind of like a bit time since i get a lot of comments and it takes time for me to respond and sometimes i actually miss them so i'm just saying if you want to get a faster support and more stable support i'll recommend you guys to join into our discord server we'll also need a mongodb database so your bot will work without any problem i also have a video about mongodb linked on top right right now in the video you can go ahead and click it and learn how you can make a mongodb database anyways that's it for the intro now let's straight get into today's video Okay, so let's just start. I will try to be as clear as I can so you guys will understand today's video. So basically, you will need to know some basics of MongoDB. As I said in the beginning of the video, the intro, uh, also just, I suggest you guys to do watch a video that I made already on my channel about MongoDB that will help you guys to have some basic understandings of it so you won't have any problems in today's video. So first of all, you have to make sure they have a Discord bot. So I have it here. So first, you have to make a module uh in your models folder and call it ticket data the js and then in here you will require mongos and then some you know, basically schema of the uh, database is gonna be something like this so it's gonna be message id the guild id and ticket number and while listed role the reason we're using guild id and message id is because this uh, ticket system or the mod mail system is going to work on every single server it's not specifically about one server which is a very very cool thing about having a database once you guys finish putting these on uh, on your code uh, which is where required in this string and a number and a string and a string so once you guys finish this you just have to go ahead and make a command so the command is going to be called ticket setup this is where you're going to set up the ticket system or the mod mail system for your discord server so basically this is it i think you guys understand everything that i'm trying to say and i think this is pretty much a safe forward make sure you require so this is a command handler if you don't know what i'm doing here this is a command handler that i have you always should have a command handler i'm just saying for organization of your discord bot but if you don't then the code that we're going to use you're going to use is going to be inside of model that exports that run and uh outside of it there's a function you need these two to work but in my opinion i always suggest you guys to learn using a command handler because it's a lot better and easier and more organized anyways so you guys gonna go ahead and require the um Ticket data to your Discord bot. You will also make sure that you have message embed and message collector required at Discord.js. So whenever you use message embed in your code and message collector, it will basically require Discord.js. Anyways, so in here we have the ticket data, a very ticket data, find one guild ID. So it's gonna go ahead and check whether if the data exists or not. So this is where we're gonna check for it. As a matter of fact, as you can see in here, we have if the ticket system doesn't exist. So it's gonna do this actions. You know, if there was no data regarding the ticket system in the guild, then it's gonna go ahead and start the system process. But if it was, if it, as you can see, I have an else function here. It says, eh, else, then it's going to go ahead and take a data, find one, and remove. It's going to remove the old data, and it's going to say, reset the database from, uh, successfully reset the ticket system from your server. Go ahead and use this command again to reset up, uh, which is pretty cool. And there we go. And now we just have to go ahead and make sure that we have the same permission, you know, the correct permissions for this command. Um, you can also put this at, outside of this bracket, because you want to make sure that everyone, whoever uses this command, has a managed guild permission, or you can customize it or whatever. So we got this here. We got the ticket data. It's going to say, make an embed first. Once we use this command, it's going to send an embed to us. And then it's going to go ahead and say the first filter. We're going to use message collections. If you don't know what message collections are, basically a response. The response is going to be the response of a person is going to be the answer. Like basically a question and answer. So it's going to answer, ask you a question. You're going to answer. It's going to ask the next question, next question or whatever. It's pretty cool. The collections are pretty, pretty professional and very, very cool. And I like them. So you guys go ahead and do it. First, make a let embed description after the, making the filter and the collector. And then you're going to go ahead and say once the first collector started, which is going to start basically whenever uh, the first embed is got sent to us. It's going to go ahead and collect the message.content of the embed permission. So 
when it, whatever we put for the response it's going to be the embed description and then it's going to go ahead and send a second embed and then it's going to stop the collection that was running from here there we go so it's going to open another filter which is another uh collector my bad filter and collector and it's going to go ahead and on the second one it's going to go ahead and wait for the response from the old one which is the ticket system setup what do you want for uh, where, where do you want to send a message and it's going to mention the channel and then mentioning the channel is going to be message use msg in this case because we're using asset msg for our second collector we don't want to make everything confusing we're going to miss msg that mention, mentions the channel that first the first uh mentioned channel is going to be the embed channel the embed is going to be sent to and if it wasn't valid then it's going to say this is not a valid channel try again and this collector is going to stop and everything you have to start all over again and in here we said the next question is going to be what rules you want to have access to uh, you know see the ticket and private rule name mention or id and it's going to go ahead and stop the second collector which was the channel it's going to go ahead and use the third collector the third collector is going to be the saved rule the rule that you know basically uh the moderators some of the moderators you know the moderators should have access to the all of the tickets so um it's going to ask us what rule you want to have access to the tickets uh, you have to go ahead and either mention it or either put the id or either uh put the name which is a pretty pretty cool system that i made and you know it's just a system that a lot of people use so whatever you put it's gonna go ahead and find it on your discord server and it's gonna say if it wasn't valid or if it wasn't like a rule or something it's gonna say this is not a valid rule try again and it's gonna stop everything process and you have to solve all over again and in here it says once you're done this you go ahead and done your setup is completely finished and then it's gonna stop the third collector and also it's gonna send a message um to us the embed basically anyways so in here we have the await tech create ticket system this is where the function is useful which can organize our code a lot better so we're gonna go ahead and pass the ticket data embed description embed channel message and save through we're gonna pass these to our function so make sure you put all of these in here the correct forms and names and then make sure you have await because it's very important create await create ticket system so whatever name you put here you have to put the name in here as well async function so this is where we're going to use it also you have to make sure you put async or you won't be able to use await in your code so just make sure it's async and then async function create ticket system ticket data ticket you know that we also be getting the past uh you know methods that we put for our old one and then we're going to go ahead and create the embed it's going to be a ticket title title is going to be ticket you can customize it the description is going to be embed description which we you know as at the beginning and the color is going to be blue or whatever color you want to choose it's your opinion and then in here is going to be let msg equal to await mess embed channel that's sent it's going to send the embed uh you know after you know creating an name here basically it's going to send the embed to the channel that we specified which is the embed channel as you can see i put embed channel that's sent not message the channel that's sent or whatever and in here, as you can see, we have the msg.react. So it's going to go ahead and react to our embed once it got sent. Also, make sure you use await. Always use await in your code because it's very useful. And then in here, we have the const new data. It's going to create a new data in our database. And it's going to be guild ID, message.guild.id. And then in here, it's going to be message ID, which is msg.id. And the ticket number is going to be zero because, you know, we haven't opened a ticket yet. It's just the beginning. And then we're going to edit it in future don't worry we'll show you so in here we have the wireless rule we have the save rule.id and uh, that's pretty much it and it's gonna go ahead and save the rule save the um data and we're done basically so let's just go ahead and run the bot let's do no dot let's just go ahead and do test so this bot is working fine now let's just go ahead and do ticket setup so if you do this it's gonna go ahead and successfully reset the second ticket system because i already had the system on my discord server uh let's do ticket setup again there we go what do you want the embed description to be test uh where do you want to send this message i'm gonna send it to general chat and then as you can see it says uh what rule do you want to have access to the tickets i'm gonna mention admin and then there we go ticket system is now finished the setup and uh, um if you check general chat it's reacted and the description is basically the description that we put as a response and also reacted to the ticket uh which we said that in here there we go message dot react ticket icon if it's working so far right like this you're perfectly good uh, you know fine to go to the next step that we're gonna do which is very important which is when we're gonna go ahead and react you know let's say a member reacts to this thing and then what happens you know we're gonna do this right now if, if it's working without any problems so far, then perfect. Let's just go ahead and get into that. If not, then make sure you watch the video back again. Just make sure your, your code is working or not, or you missed something out, or join your Discord server, or like, you know, comment down below, whatever. So as you can see, I made an event and call it message reaction add. Uh, make sure you create an event. If you don't have an event handler, it's fine. Go ahead and create an event in your index suggest for, uh, you know, file or whatever. And then in here, uh, as a matter of fact, I actually added a cooldown set and a ticket data. 
the reason I actually, you know, we need this, of course, because we're trying to get the data, you know, from the database. And in here, I use the cooldown. The reason I'm using a cooldown is because we don't want a person to, you know, jitter click on this icon and it will still critique it for them. It's, it's annoying. You, know, you don't want that to happen. So then you basically you just go ahead and, you know, make it set that we're going to learn how we can add a cooldown to it in just a minute. So in there we go, we had also add the message embed and message collector. So whenever we use message collector or message embed, we are good to go using these footages and in here also said if the user is bought was reacted it's gonna go ahead and return it's very important and then in here there's some partial stuff make sure you add it you will also have to make sure that your index suggest file you have partials enabled which is very important if you want to have a reaction rule or whatever partials are very very important make sure you guys make sure you guys have this in your con spot or cons client or whatever and then there we go we have the if the reaction is not a guild then it's gonna return you want a reaction to be in dms or whatever and and then there we go we have the data here so whenever we use data in our code it's gonna go ahead and find one if there was no data it's gonna go ahead and return of course because we don't want that you know happen without having a data or whatever and then in here we have the reaction that message that partial await it's gonna fetch the message you know the reactions basically and then once it's fetched it's gonna check if the emoji that name is equal to the ticket emoji and the message that id is equal to the message id that we put in our database it's going to go ahead and make sure also that uh, if it has a cooldown with the person actually will react to it it's going to go ahead and if it has a cooldown then it's going to go ahead and remove it and it's going to return um you know and then in here the data is going to be dot data the ticket number plus equal one and it's going to go down save the data after so the reason we're doing this in here is because um we are remember the ticket number we want the ticket number to increase each time we use you know someone reacts to that thing which is very important you just you just make sure you guys have that how to do that so in here we have the channel it's gonna go ahead and create the channel for us called ticket and the number so this is where the complicated stuff happens the ticket number the repeated or whatever um you know the channel whenever we create the channel whenever you react it's gonna go ahead and you know create the channel and then call it ticket and then ticket number after it's like zero zero one or whatever zero zero one usually it's like this so yeah if it's like 100 it's gonna go ahead and do this which is which is why i use a math function in here and after the ticket number so and then it's gonna go ahead and create text channel the text channel is basically gonna have some permissions which is a view channel and uh, yeah that's gonna stuff and it's gonna also overwrite some permissions which is gonna the view channel um and then it's gonna you know the white list rule is gonna have of course every single permission that this has as well as the same as the same as the person who actually reacted to the message which is user and then in here it's gonna go ahead and remove the reaction of the user after we reacted or the person who actually reacted to the message and then in here it's gonna say uh when in the channel that we actually created it's gonna say ticket number this if you wanna if you welcome to the tickets whatever, whatever this is this is a customized embed but uh, you will you will get the idea once i use a schema and then in here it's gonna say the success uh it's gonna send the embed uh it's gonna tag the member as well it's gonna go ahead and add a cooldown which is the cooldown is gonna be basically i put it in here for 30 seconds but it's still your choice you can make it 15 seconds or whatever make sure the time is in the ms as you can see i put a set timeout function cooldown the delete once it's done and um yeah that's pretty much it so the reason i we also have to make sure about it is basically check if done if you check in here we also made uh you know check if done in here as well we passed this stuff here so it's gonna also check whether the reaction uh you know whenever whenever, whenever we like whenever we take a system is done someone you know writes done Whenever the someone writes done in here, as you can see, the function starts from here. We pass the stuff to here. And whenever we cache that someone says done, it's going to go ahead and delete the channel in 10 seconds. You can set the timeout as well, but you just have to go ahead and edit it from here and here. That's basically it. I hope you, get the, you guys get the idea. And I think it's pretty, pretty much straightforward, but it's a little bit, like I said, advanced. Just make sure you understand it pretty good. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and run the bot. Uh, let's just go ahead and go here. One quit from here. There we go. And once I react to this, it's going to create the channel for me. Uh, and the reason is because it created two channels. I'm pretty sure it's because my bot, other bot is running. So just don't for forget about that. And there we go. We have the ticket number two. This ticket was created by Dashcraft, which is me. Uh, and then please say done once you're finished. And I'm going to say done. It's going to say this channel will be deleted in 10 seconds. And as you know, we said channel.delete after 10 seconds, which is that's it done this is how we can do it after 10 seconds the channel is going to be deleted there we go simple as that so 
react to it now as you can see the channel is not creating anymore it's creating because my other bot is running but as you can see there it is not no more channels is creating basically the reason being is because there is a cooldown each 30 seconds each 30 seconds you can make a channel after 30 seconds you cannot make it you know we can make a channel but each 30 seconds you'll be able to change, make a channel you can increase this limit or decrease this limit by yourself it depends on you i don't care this is just a tutorial and i'm doing it for a sake of purpose of you know teaching you guys how you guys can be able to do that and I think that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks, you guys, for watching today's video. I hope it helped you guys. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if it helped you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, it will help me to make more videos like this. Share it to your friends. Uh, I think they're going to like it, too, because I tried my best to make this video as clear and as good as possible. And everything, I hope, is organized for you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about today's video. Go ahead and uh, ask me questions about Discord digits or anything like that. I will be so happy if I can hear every feedback from you all. This is just like a big honor. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys for watching this video. This is Dashcraft and I'm out. Peace out, guys.